Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Himanshu here with us who got recently placed at PwC as a full-time employee as a part of his campus placements at VIT. So today he is here to share his interview experience with us. As we all know, PwC is a part of the big four and it is a company that offers business advisory services such as auditing, accounting, taxation, strategy management and human resource consulting services. So let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. Uh, all BTEC brands students with a CGP of 6 or 60% in 10th and 12th as well as in the pursuing degree with no standing arrears who are eligible for this role. So now let's go ahead and talk to Himanshu. Hi Himanshu, uh, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Thank you, thank you Dishma. Uh, so would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. So hi guys, my name is Himanshu Singh Bhagir. I am a fourth year undergrad pursuing my electronics and computer engineering in Bellore Institute of Technology, Chennai. And recently I have got a super dream offer in VIT from PwC. Okay. Okay. Thank you for introducing yourself. You can now tell us about the placement process, how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Sure, sure. So coming to rounds, one thing is that they are long. Okay. So my process started at 9.30 in the morning hmm. and till the time I was over with the HR, it was already 8 in the night. Oh, okay. And the thing is, we had to be there on the meet all the time because mm. they were giving updates regularly. Mm. But the, be, the one thing that surprised me was that it was very well managed. Okay. So like results were coming soon and people were not getting, they used to tell them like very soon so mm. that they don't have to wait for entire process to end. Right. So that is what I really liked about it. Mm. Uh, so there are three rounds. The first is uh, like, I'll say four rounds actually. Okay. First is the test. Mm. So in test, more than 4,500 people applied. Okay. And out of which 425 were shortlisted. Okay. So for 625, my bad. 625. Okay. okay. And then those 625, they divided it into technological consultant and risk consultant. Okay. Based on their profile. Huh. So I feel that I had a cyber security, uh, like information security I did in my subject coursework. So okay. for that reason, I was put in risk consulting and associate. Okay. And Maybe that's why because I, mm. that was the the differentiation. Mm. They were they were told that they are looking resume very well, like they are going through it, and according to that they are dividing. Okay. So my interview was on 12 September. Okay. So then when the shortlist student came, so finally for my role there were 200 students. Okay. So the first round was basically <coughs> normal round like mm. interview type, mm. where you talk to a guy and he may ask you a technical question, he doesn't. So they divided the panel and. Like everyone who was going before interview, I was asking him how is it, like okay. what's happening. Uh -huh. So they were asking a lot of technical questions and everything. Mm. So like okay, this is going to be technical mm. a bit. So mm. I started revising my concepts and everything. Mm. But when I went in, mm. uh, there was this interview and I still remember because it was my first interview and mm. Uh, mm. the guy made me so comfortable that I remember his name. So his name was Mayank. Okay. So we started talking and somehow I just started with Mayank. Uh, thank you Mayank. So that bond mm. started because I didn't call him sir or anything. Okay. Okay. So then he started to know about my personal life because mm. uh, in my resume I have also included a lot of extracurricular activities okay. mm -hmm. from club works and they are good like not just joining the club but right. I have held a good position and I have right. done some work outside also from the mm. campus. Mm. So I wanted to know all that. Okay. So the talk was good like it went on for like 15-20 minutes. Mm. Usually the technical interviews are ending 10 minutes okay. but one thing that scared me while the end was he didn't ask me any technical questions. Okay. And before that, he was like, he, uh, I'll be very candid with you. Uh, do you really want uh, to work in a risk consortium, a risk mm. associate? Or mm. what do you know about this? Okay? Mm. So since I studied information security subjects, so I told what I know, like mm. auditing and pen testing and all mm. that. He mm. so was really impressed that, okay, he knows something already. So right. like, I was like, fine, but do you really want to? Because your profile is much more like very mm. balanced than you have mm. attachments also and everything. Mm. Mm. So I was like, yeah, I really want. So then he was like, okay, then we'll end. So okay. since the curiosity built up so much, I asked him whether hmm. my interview was that bad. Hmm. So he was like, no, no, it was very good. Hmm. It was like one of the best interviews that I had today. Hmm. So I was like, he didn't ask me any technical questions. Hmm. So he was like, it's not always about technical. Hmm. As a PwC consultant, you, we judge you more on your personality because hmm. you are going to be a person who's going to face our clients and people. Hmm. Not going to be, you know, behind the back hmm. and doing the work. Hmm. You're also going to face the client. So we hmm. need someone who can do that. Hmm. So I was like, okay, thank you. But still, I had my doubts. Uh -huh. So, first round ended, and uh, from my panel, 10 people got selected. Okay. And they got ahead. Hmm. And in that 10 people, I was also there. So, okay. second was partner round. 
Hmm. So a partner round is like a big executive of PwC who has hmm. worked there for more than 15 years. Hmm. So there is the partner level they have like the well very right. reputable huh. company. Huh. So that interview started. It was going long, like uh, 15-20 minutes for everyone. Hmm. So my panel there were uh, 10 people, so like it's long. Hmm. If you convert in hours. Okay. And the worst part was mine was at the last. Okay. Like my name was seven. Hmm. And the academic order. Uh, sorry, hmm. academic yeah. alphabet. So. Uh-huh. alphabet. Okay. Mine was at seven. Hmm. So the wait was killing me because hmm. you know everyone was going twenty yeah. minutes, then again twenty minutes. Huh. So two hours and two and a half hours passed by. Hmm. Then I finally went in, and this was proper a proper interview. Like he first asked me to introduce myself. Huh. He was very you know stern and hard that was starting from the start. That okay, this is a technical round. <laughs> this is something you have to huh. be serious. Huh. So he started with my projects and he dived in like directly. Hmm. Like everything in and out of my project, I talked for 15 minutes. Hmm. I was trying to make him believe that okay, yes, I have done this project. Hmm. So he wanted to know everything, hmm. like why this module, why did you use Panda like right. why this, how, and my was a bit of cyber security project only. Hmm. So since it was the same domain, he had the knowledge. Right. So he was really testing. Hmm. So this went on. So for uh, after that, I think it was a trick question. So he was like he. But this is a very easy, easy project, don't you think? Hmm. For the third hmm. year cyber security, I'm like, no, sir. Uh, I feel this was something that I took initiative because information security is an elective. Like you elect a NAS form. Right. So not a lot of people. And for everyone, it was the second choice. But I took it as my first choice because I wanted to learn. Hmm. And with the limited resources, I think doing this project alone, it's a good project. Hmm. So he really, really liked that answer. Hmm. Then he told me also that I was just testing whether you believe hmm. in your project or not. Nice. So I smiled a bit and hmm. then. The next was uh, Boob's concept, hmm. like basically Boob's concept. Hmm. Then very simple SQL query, hmm. uh, max minimum. Hmm. And then uh, like for interview question, no, he only asked me one question and that's why I didn't have to code. Hmm. just wanted to know the algorithm, what I'm thinking. Okay. Huh. So it was like to select the, just to delete the highest node of a tree okay. in the list. Okay. So it was okay, okay. So hmm. I was told that hmm. and he was fine, he didn't even <laughs> like uh, uh, like listen to the entire answer. He was fine with like whatever I said. Hmm. And then he was like, "Why you? Why should we choose you in PwC? And what hmm. different? What difference do you bring in? Like other than that?" Hmm. So he told me that on this panel only five will get selected. So he was like, "What is different than all the other people that I interviewed?" So I told my point and why I'm better fit. And uh, since I hold a balanced portfolio, I have knowledge of you know mingling with people and I right. can talk with them. So hmm. it won't be very difficult for me to adapt to your. Hmm. Hmm. So he was impressed and then he was like, okay, go, wait for your interview. And then he said all the best. So like, this is mm-hmm. like all the best. So, <laughs> the entire interview I was smiling a bit because mm-hmm. it was very light. I was very mm-hmm. nervous but once it starts, I'm fine. Mm-hmm. So this ended and the result came one hour late actually. Okay. So that time it was 7 o'clock, 5 people got selected. Mm-hmm. Now the third round was HR. But the thing is, he, somehow I think they chose a lot of candidate or what, I don't understand. It became a GD plus okay. HR. Huh. So five people got in into the HR interview. Okay. Huh. Everyone, when they were asking everything, and HR was like, "Okay, I'm going to give you a topic, hmm. and you have to talk among yourself." Hmm. So, in the topic was uh, uh, well, just one second. Uh, yeah, empowerment, internal or external. Okay. Not women, just empowerment, hmm. internal hmm. or external. Hmm. So we had to, she gave us two minutes to write down our, down our points and hmm. then we can say about it. So we got our two minutes and as soon as the, she said, okay, this is gonna, like, now you have to start. Hmm. You know, like, everyone just wanted to rush. Yeah, yeah. That's what I noticed. Like, huh. You know, people already started speaking. Right. So one guy, he was like, I just, uh, like, I didn't say anything. I was waiting for my turn. So hmm. four of the guys started speaking and then ma'am has to say, like, okay, you say. Right. So he, told all the points and the second guy came, he told all the points, he decided a poem also, <laughs> and, uh, so he told a poem also, <laughs> then finally my turn came, so I told everything, <laughs> and then other guy, <laughs> so she was, then, and then she asked uh, specifically questions to three of us, okay. like, for me, I told on women empowerment, because <laughs> I told her that I feel that since as a family, if we see everything starts from a woman, <laughs> mother, when she teaches a child, it goes and like, you know, <laughs> The family man has same hmm. perspective towards the world and whatever he has or she has been taught. Hmm. And then they will carry on that. So I hmm. think it's the mom that, you know, make a generation. Hmm. 
so i think women empowerment should be the one to talk so that is what and i also contradicted few people's point like mm. one of the guy was like everyone here are talking only about women empowerment which should be self empowerment also and but i was like you can't run away from sensitive topic right mm. at this field is like this is i i told him like on the eric that this is like running from a sensitive topic mm. so like that and after that she asked three of us question that how will i bring change like more people more women candidates and my college so i explained about a star program which i read or like in vit site that they help backward class students to come and like you know mm. have a education and mm. Hmm. So I told about that, and I also told that uh, I think that would be a good if they include more seats and like you know right. more women on the board. Right. Because it's not that women don't want to learn; hmm. it's just that they are lacking the opportunity. Hmm. And if given, I am sure that they can do really well than all the men out there. Hmm. So she really got uh, uh, happy about this point. Hmm. And other two questions I don't remember. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. They were asked to other people. Okay. And then the interview ended. Okay. Yeah. So and, and then you got the result. Uh, next today, next day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thanks for sharing your experience, and yeah, thanks for uh, sharing your experience. And do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into good companies or PwC for yeah. anything of specific? Yeah, I'll say that uh, sometimes you have to be company specific. Hmm. What I saw in many people was they were applying in like all the things that hmm. are coming. Hmm. It's good if you want to get a chance, but hmm. I think that you should. Every company has a different profile. Hmm. So what I did was a target preparation. Okay. So I also was uh, like I also searched for interview experience in Geek for Geeks and all. And I learned from that, so I knew that okay, part around they hmm. ask for uh, technical uh, like answers, theory right, answers, right. like books, content, and everything. So hmm. I printed out materials and I studied everything before hmm. that. Hmm. And I also understood that in DSA they don't go very deep, hmm. but they go deep in certain topics, which is array list and like array list hmm. and stack. Okay. Not stack also, but R and big list are the favorite topics hmm. for PWC. So that is what I did. I okay. improved on them. Hmm. And the similar question came again. Hmm. So that was a bonus. Hmm. And yeah, uh, like even if you are trying or like you know getting the project from somewhere, hmm. it's better that you make on your own. Yeah. Uh, take help, but make on your own. But hmm. if you are getting, just know everything about the project. Hmm. You have to be. Totally, like you know, associated Taro. with everything mm. that is happening in your project. Mm. Like every function, everything. What is it doing? Mm. Sometimes they even say, like, uh, I would like like to add this point that one of the guys we told that they told him to share the screen and show the project. Oh, okay. So that was something. So mm. that didn't happen to me, but yeah, they were asking like that. So you have to be prepared for everything. Okay. Mm. Yeah. And one of the last thing, it's not academic, but I'll say that uh, you know keep. People close who motivate you in some way. Right. Because placement is very overwhelming. Mm. And I, it's my personal thing that I stopped the opening LinkedIn for two three weeks <laughs> because everyone was posting something uh-huh. and uh-huh. you know you are happy for them. Yeah. But again, that feeling comes that okay, right. when will my, right. you know, when mm-hmm. will I get it? Mm-hmm. Because time is going. Right. And all that. So that is an overwhelming feeling. But mm. the people who were close to me always motivated me. Mm. And I think that was the reason that helped me to keep myself believe in. Okay. And for anything, you have to have confidence and communication skills. You should be very able to, you know, express what you are thinking on your right, mind. Right. Right. Because even if you are thinking diamond in your mind and you are speaking something as a like normal stone, that won't help you. Correct. So be crystal clear with your lines and thoughts. Hmm. Explain them, and even if you don't know the answer, hmm. just tell them. Hmm. Don't try to waste that time because that is what frustrates them more. Right. So yeah, that's all. Okay. I would like to Okay thanks again for sharing your experience and for the suggestions so yeah thank you thank you for having me this